Forget about snakes on a plane. This is zombies on a train. Train to Busan, this year's most successful movie at the Korean box office, is the first live-action film by Zhang Ouyon. It starts right where his previous animated movie Soul Station left off. It doesn't feature the same characters and the tone is different as well, but it's a cool thing nevertheless and seeing them both back to back at this year's Slash Film Festival was an interesting experience. While I didn't like Soul Station that much, I really enjoyed Train to Busan. What it distinguishes it from all the other zombie movies out there is its great concept on putting zombies on a train. You have a very limited space, a bunch of randomly put together people and an overall fresh take on the genre. Our main protagonist is Zerg Wu, played by Yu Gong, who I knew from the great Korean drama Silenced. He plays the cliché businessman all work and always looking out only for himself rather than people around him. Well, that will change in the course of the movie and at its heart, Train to Busan is also a story about the father and his little daughter, played by the only 10-year-old but already amazing Suan Kim. But by far the best passenger on the train is Zhang Hua, played by Dong Seok Ma. He seems huge especially in the narrow surroundings and he has an attitude towards Seok Wu's egotism. In the course of the attack they form a bond and it was both thrilling and entertaining as hell. Unlike Soul Station this one is far more exciting and fun and lighter. It's a big budget mainstream horror action movie with great set pieces, good chemistry and really cool cinematography that puts you right in the danger of it all. It's very melodramatic as well as it's often the case with popular cinema from the Far East, but I was into it. I dug the relationship between father and daughter and the end got to me. There are a few moments I didn't like and I thought it was an absolute waste how they finish off the main bad guy towards the end, but I also really loved some motifs. Director Zhang Ho likes to throw his zombies mindless through hallways and down buildings or trains. He did it in Soul Station, but it didn't have any weight for me. Here he does the same, but with all the real persons and of course many special effects as well, it was something I haven't seen this impressive before. It's similar to World War Z in that regard. Mounting up dozens of zombies like a huge wave you can't stop. You still get your typical zombie movie plot devices and I can understand if they are getting old for some people. You know the deal. People get bitten, other people are either willing to help or absolutely inhuman and selfish. But when it leads to great scenes, I don't care. Like the one at the halfway point of the movie where a little group of fighting misfits is trying to shut off or rather hold the door to a zombie infested train compartment while trying to open the door to the safe area, which is at the same time barricaded by the people who are afraid our heroes got bitten themselves. It's an intense, fist bump worthy moment. There are also some cool ideas to create tension. For example, the zombies don't have the best ability to see in the dark and that gives our team a short time span whenever the train is entering a tunnel and everything goes pitch dark. Overall, the movie could be a little bit more bloodthirsty, I think. It's a little bit too restricted and appealing to the masses, maybe. Of course, it's still brutal and violent and the effects look cool, but in a zombie genre you look for that special little extra touch, that little brutal flavor that you haven't seen before. But that's only a minor complaint. Train to Busan has a great concept, it's thrilling and fun and emotional and therefore it gets a 7.5 out of 10. Alright, that's it. Like always, please tell me in the comments below what you think about Train to Busan. Did you like the movie? Have you seen its prequel, Soul Station? Tell me about it. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like.